In this video, we're going to look at how to calculate the Kb for an unknown uh, base when we know the pH and the initial concentration. So this question we're going to look at um, will walk us through the process of finding the Kb for an unknown base. So a 0 0.100 mole per liter solution of an unknown base has a pH of 11.46. What is the Kb value of the base? When we don't know the uh, identity or the formula of a base, we're going to use the generic uh, A minus, so any generic anion to represent our base. So A minus plus water, in this case water will be acting as an acid, will form an equilibrium with HA, that's the conjugate acid of our unknown base, plus hydroxide, that's the conjugate base of water. So we're going to build our ice table. Um, with the information that we know from the question. So, uh, we know that the initial concentration of the base is 0 0.100 moles per liter, um, and we know it won't include water, and the initial concentrations of HA and OH are zero. We can find the concentration of hydroxide at equilibrium, as well as the concentration of our conjugate acid, because we know those two are going to be equal, we can find that using the pH. So the first thing we're going to do is take our pH and turn it into pOH, because that will allow us to calculate hydroxide. So 14 minus 11.46 equals 2.54. So the pOH of our base solution is 2.54. From pH, or sorry, from pOH, we can find hydroxide using the formula 10 to the minus pOH. So 10 to the minus 2.54. And we get 2.54. 8, 8, so 2.9 times 10 to the negative 3. So that's going to be the equilibrium concentration of both hydroxide and HA. Because we started with 0 for both of these, this is also the magnitude of our change. And so the change for A minus will be 2.9 times 10 to the negative 3, but negative. And so we can subtract that from our initial concentration of our acid to get the equilibrium of our base to get the equilibrium concentration of 0 0.097. So now we can use our Kb expression uh, to solve for the Kb for this base. So Kb equals HA. times OH minus divided by A minus. So it's going to equal 2.9 times 10 to the minus 3. And although I've rounded as I've written them down on the page, I'm storing all of these numbers in my calculator exactly as they are with, without rounding. So that when I do the calculation, um, I won't be introducing any error into that calculation. And so I get a P or a KB of 8.6 times 10 to the negative 5. 